we have the Canon AE-1. This is the the darling of the resurgent film community. It has like that really nice, you know, vintage retro vibe that everyone's looking for. You know, silver top, black body. Um, they do have Canon AE-1s in black as well, but this is just the standard silver model. Definitely get up there in price, but we'll just run through the features of it real quick. So first we need to put a battery in it because I don't have a battery. So it takes a six volt battery here, something like that, an alkaline six volt. Um, positive is up, negative is down. This was the first um, conversion to a smaller body. Previously, they were running things like the AFT, the FTB, the FTBQL, the TL, DLB, all of those things, which were bigger SLRs um, and a totally different body system. So this is the first of the it's kind of smaller iteration. It's partially smaller, not too much smaller. It's still considered like a full-size camera. Um, so all you need to do, take a little lens you have like this. This is a breech lock 28 millimeter FD. You align the red with the red there. It slots in, it should slot in like that. And then you just move this over and then you're in business. You're good to go. Basic components of this camera. You have the advanced lever here. You have your shutter button. You have your selector, your on off switch. This is the off position. This is the on position. And this is your self timer. So when you click that, You'll notice that the LED blinks. This is a 10 second timer. And as it nears, I believe, three seconds, um, the blinking, nope, that's fine, I guess. Anyway, um, cool. So 10 second timer on and normal firing. So here is your shutter speed selector here kind of inconveniently located under the advanced lever if you ask me, but it makes it kind of easy to cycle through real quick and to take a picture, um, which is fine. It goes from thousand speed all the way down to a two second exposure and then bulb, obviously, and it has a little screw here so you can put a, a release cable in there and do long exposures if you feel so inclined. Then underneath this, you have your ASA selector. I think that this is kind of a poor design, if you ask me, but I mean also, this isn't a digital. You're not gonna be changing your ASA throughout the roll of film. So you simply lift up on this, lift up on this. There's a little plastic guard right here. So it's kind of something to bear in mind. It's kind of hard to shift through these while showing you. The general idea is something like this. So, anyway, that's, that is that. And then over here, on this side, you have your battery check. Inside the viewfinder is the, the apertures, and it goes from 1, 2, all the way up to 22. And if you press on this, if the battery is fresh, it'll register in between a 2.8 and a 5.6. And the closer up to 5.6, the more likely it is you need to switch the battery out. <clears throat> so that is that, very simple. It has a little uh, holder right here, so you can put whatever film you're shooting. Again, just if you're shooting Delta 3200, boom, slide it in there, you know what you're doing. Very helpful. So, um, as always, this is to pop open the back. You get back here, you have a cloth curtain. This is the same uh, sprocket and spool design as the A1 and the A1 program. We'll just go through really quickly. I got my test roll of film here. So, put that in there. that okay now I'm done shooting you press this button right here and then you simply lift that up there and rewind 
easy peasy. Lift up on here, pull out there, good to go. Um, this one, as you'll notice, has only two contacts down here because uh, they use different auto loading systems. I believe you can still use newer ones on this with the four uh, prongs. I wouldn't advise you try just because I mean, there's really no sense to it. Um, and then obviously this part screws out here so you can use the auto winder, just use like a little quarter or something or nickel. Nickel is the perfect size for that. I got one right here just for this purpose. Put it in here and loosen it up. You can just pull this out. Got your stop down lever here. So have a lens put on here like so. Your stop down lever like that. It's a very basic camera. It's great like for introductory um, to understanding the base mechanics of film photography. There's no frills, no gills. You have the only exciting thing really is the uh, self timer, but even that's kind of lame. Um, <clears throat> it just gives you exactly what you need to operate a camera. Everything is um, battery uh, is electrically charged. So if you don't have battery and you really can't use the camera outside of like a paperweight. Um, and then the whole thing, the whole uh, light metering system was completely revolutionary for the time. Um, and it operated uh, much differently to anything before that. So really groundbreaking design. But the problem is that it all runs off of this tungsten wire. It goes from over here to where you select your shutter speeds to over here. Um, underneath this lever here and then there's these little uh, metal prongs that rub against a contact board that puts inputs into the microcomputer over the top here and this was the first camera with the microcomputer this was like only a few years removed from when they had to use a whole house to store a computer kind of thing so that's a little fragile um, and so something to be wary of it's a great camera a great find yeah, Canon AE1.